2014, our plan council commented on the plans for the golf course. They passed them with no objections. 16,000 cubic metres of landfill were ignored because our town councillors had not read the plan. <coughs> Marion Coots even admitted this in a meeting last year. The existence of the landfill continued to be denied, including in an email from Dr Fox received by a resident in April 2015. A consequence of this was that Outline Planning Commission during February 2015 and Full Planning Commission during June were both given, albeit with 21 conditions. These conditions include the need for a geological survey, but only because one full-sighted resident did read the plans and spent many hours finding out what they actually meant. Why did she have to do this? Because most of our councillors didn't. During 2015, residents worked tirelessly to try to safeguard the land. We provided much evidence so the town council was able to succeed in getting asset of community value on the land. Many hours were spent in collecting evidence for town green status, which, if it had succeeded, would have safeguarded the land from building forever. This application involved residents filling in lengthy forms provided by us at an approximate cost of £400. The Town Council refused to fund this, although they eventually took ownership of the application. No Town Councillor offered assistance in any way in the collection of the evidence. Indeed, four Town Councillors were seen passing by on the other side whilst we were campaigning. Town Green status was refused as there was planning permission on the land. However, there were questions on the validity of the planning permission as it was not for development. A judicial review could well have found in our favour that the Town Council was unwilling to commit funds to support such a challenge, even though they have something like £600,000 of our money in the bank. During October 2015, we applied for two rights of way on the land. Sufficient evidence was collected, again at our expense. On March the 29th, 2016, we attended a meeting at Western Town Hall to put our case to have the rights of way applications heard quickly as the waiting list for this is in excess of 20 years. Having requested support from our councillors, both town and district, only one town councillor came to support us. A further Portishead district councillor, one of the ward councillors for the golf course, had been asked for his support by ourselves and others. He spoke first in total opposition to us. Indeed, he was heard, uh, he was seen smiling as he accused us for lack of, risk, of, lack of, risk of support. The land has one safeguard on it local green space, with the caveat that it can be built on in very special circumstances. So, at a councillor's whim, anything could happen. The land is not safe. We are doing this for Porter's Head, not for ourselves. The campaigners are all passionate about this piece of land, a passion clearly not shared by our councillors. It seems to us that our town council has fought us all the way and any support has been grudging, one wonders why. I do hope people will continue to use this land. It is our right and it is our heritage. Thank you.